Title of the first section today is Find the Slope Using Points. In this section, we'll graph two points and find the slope between them. First two points, 3, 2, and 5, 6. Graphing these two points, we can draw the x-y axis. Biggest number we have is 6, so we can go 6 spots in each direction. First point is 3, 2. x is positive 3. Y is positive 2. And the second point, 5, 6. X is positive 5. Y is positive 6. If you want to, you can connect these two points. And again, we'll find the slope, if you remember from the previous section, is the rise over run. So starting at the far left-hand point, Counting up, we'll go up one, two, three, four spots. So the rise would be four. And counting over to the run, we would have one, two spots over. So four spots up, two spots to the right, dividing that out, and the slope between these two points would be two. Second set of points, and last question for the section is negative 3, 4, and the second point is 1, negative 2. Again, drawing the x-y axis. Looking at the points, the bigger number is 4, so we can go 4 spots in each direction. The first point, negative 3, 4. Go negative 3 in the x direction and positive 4 spots up. And the second point, 1, negative 2. Positive 1 in the x direction and negative 2 or 2 spots down. And again, if you want to, you can connect these two points and we'll find a slope between them. Always start at the left hand side. In this case, we'll count how many spots down, which would be a negative number, and how many spots to the right. Counting these spots down, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 spots down would be a negative 6. And counting to the right, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4 spots to the right. So we'll have negative 6 over 4. Fractions, again, you can reduce when possible. Each of these we can divide by 2, which would be negative 3 over 2. So the slope of this line is negative 3 over 2. The title of the last section today is Find the Slope Using a Formula. For this section, we'll have a formula for the slope. For the slope, we'll use the letter M. So m equals, we'll have y and a little 2 after it for y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by 
x sub 2 minus x sub 1. For this equation for the slope, which we'll use the letter m to represent the slope, the 2 represents the second point, and the, and the 1 represents the first point. So we'll take the second y value minus the first y value, divided by the second x value minus the first x value. First problem and first two points, negative 6, comma 7, and 4, comma 3. We have the first point and the second point. The points again are always x, comma, y. So we can put x, comma, y under each one. The first point will be the ones, x sub 1 and y sub 1. And the second point will be x sub 2 and y sub 2. For the equation, m again will be the slope, m equals y sub 2, the second number, the y value in the second point would be 3. And we'll subtract from that y sub 1, which is the first y value in the first point. So we'll have 3 minus 7. Divided by x sub 2 is the x value in the second point, which is 4, minus the x sub 1, which is the x value in the first point, which is a minus 6. So we'll have 4, the minus sign from the equation, and the 6 is also negative, so we'll have 4 minus a negative 6. Simplifying this, 3 minus 7 would be negative 4. And 4 minus a negative 6, a minus minus, we can change to two positives. So we'll have 4 plus 6, which would be 10. So the slope is negative 4 over 10, reducing fractions. We can divide each of these by 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 would be negative 2. And 10 divided by 2 would be 5. So the slope would equal negative 2 over 5. And the second question, last question for the section, is negative 3 comma 0 and negative 2 comma 4. Again, if you want to, you can label these x1, y1, and x2, y2. Solving for the slope, which again is the letter m, we'll subtract the two y values, which would be 4 minus 0, the second value minus the first value, and we'll subtract the second x minus the first x, which would be negative 2, minus a negative 3. 4 minus 0 would be 0, or 4 minus 0 would be 4. And negative 2 minus a negative 3. Minus minus, we can change to plus. So negative 2 plus 3 would be 1. So our slope would be 4 over 1, or m equals 4. And that would be the slope between the two points.